excited this evening because we have some extraordinary talent to be presented playing with the, for the first time with each other and we just had a rehearsal this afternoon and also the playing with the uh, professionals. I want to just say a little bit of those of you who have not been here before, uh, Armstrong Chamber Concerts has been in existence for 20 years and we're going into our 21st season and our 13th season in Greenwich in the Salon series we do in the homes, and our first series at the Greenwich Library for young people is starting up this year. Our aim is really, and our mission, is to broaden it, the interest of and knowledge of chamber music through performance and education. And education is really where it's all at, as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's the heart of, of what I feel that we do, and the students that we have are just incredible. I think I said last year when I had started this program, I didn't have any idea that it would get it to the numbers of children, that the lives that we're affecting in the different communities in Fairfield, Westchester, uh, Litchfield, and New York City, the five boroughs in New York City. And, and I have been overwhelmed with the response, and I, I can't tell you the passion that I feel for these young people and how we discover young talent in the schools. And you're going to hear some of the wonderful talent this evening. Uh, I have always felt that the students need to be, we have to have music in the schools. Music is something that teaches, you know, self-discipline, a uh, sense of awareness of themselves, of being an individual. And each child that we work with, we try to make that child unique. We don't want to just say, be like us. We try to bring out the best in all of them. And I really feel with the stars that we have, that you'll hear tonight, will be our stars of tomorrow, because they're extraordinary young people. And I am so delighted to, to have all of you here and to hear this. And I also want to say that one of the things that started when I was 13, I had, um, my mother said to me, do you want to go on with your music? And I thought, why is she asking me this? And it was because she wanted me to make that decision that was my idea that I was going to give everything to the dedication and everything for being what it takes to be a musician. And when I was five, I actually had a violin under my chin at the age of three, but I started lessons at five and gave my first concert at five. And I see now all the young people we work with, each one has something so unique and so special. 
and I, I, I can't tell you how it just gets to my heart because that's what, what it's all about. What you can give, it's giving to the others, not taking, but it's giving. And these children are so receptive. I, I, I will have a, uh, one of the music teachers is gonna speak for a few minutes to tell you what it means to her and to the students to have this kind of a program. I want to thank Stephen Friedheim, who unfortunately, the host this evening of this beautiful home, is not here. He was planning to be here, but he had a, a call to New York that he had to go. But uh, we want to thank him. He's not here, but thank uh, we thank him immensely. And we also want to thank... I hope you can hear us. And I want to thank Bill Evans, our auctioneer this evening, for bringing this glorious weather. I can't believe what we have. This is just sensational. Thank you. I also want to say that uh, uh, I want to thank, we have our honorary chairpersons. We have uh, uh, our U.S. Senator Christopher Dodd, who unfortunately couldn't be here. And, uh, and uh, the Senator William Nickerson, state senator, is, is he here yet? Or is he? Okay, he's coming. When he comes, we'll make sure he's introduced. Uh, with our committee, we have two co-chairs, and I'd like them to stand. Uh, Patricia barden Briss, I don't know where she is, and Diana Sweeney. There's Diana. And then I'd like the rest of the committee to please stand because you've done such a wonderful job. It's been tremendous, just tremendous. And thank you. I don't know where everybody is. We're missing a few of them. But it's been wonderful, and I just can't tell you how all of this, what this means to us, and I hope you will after the program is over, go over and sign some more of the silent auction and join in with our uh, live auction. So we'd like to get started this evening, and, and I'd like to introduce first uh, Gerard Reiter, our oboist, who was here last year and has been participating in all the benefits. Excuse me, in all the benefits. So welcome, Gerard. Thank you. Andres, violinist, Wells, pianist, Timothy, their brothers, of course. And we're delighted to have them here and continue with the thought.
musicians have won so many awards, and it's just such a treat to share them with you this evening. They're, they're tremendous kids. And we're joined by Louise Schulman on the viola, joining the two youngsters. Thank you. <laughs>
poem for us to play. Uh, I want to talk about Schumann. I wanted to introduce our cellist Mark Schumann that <laughs> just came from New York playing uh, Tosca with the New York City uh, Opera. So we welcome here him today. And before we go any further, I want to tell you behind of all these young children, I want to introduce the parents. I'd like to have.
was arranged by Louise Schulman, and we're going to have all of our musicians join us. A very short version, but a lovely one.